look Valentine's is around the corner so I just figured I would film a video on a look this is gonna be super girly um, a lot of pink so it's going to be bright and as you guys can see I already have my base done and if you guys are wondering what foundation and everything I'm using I do have a video of me using the new morphe foundation concealer powder primer so if you guys want to see that i'll leave it somewhere up here that's what i have on my face and i really been liking that foundation so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the video and if you guys are wondering i'm using my previous camera that i was using because the new one it's better but i'm still having trouble getting the right color but i think i finally got it i need to get a gray card so it can show like true color so I just ordered that it hasn't arrived so um, I'm using my old camera which I don't know I think I like it better but maybe it's that I'm still playing with the settings and everything so I'll be filming in that new one soon so if you guys have seen that my videos recently have been kind of weird color and stuff it's because of that I still need to get the hang of it so yes okay let's get started because then I'm gonna keep on talking and talking and talking Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be using the James Charles palette. I love this palette. There's a bunch of shades here that you can use for anything. So this is what it looks like. If you guys don't know how it looks like or if you don't have it, this is what it looks like. Um, this palette has been selling out like crazy. I've been trying to get one for my mom, but it's just out of stock, so... We are going to start. Okay, so for primer on my lids, I already have concealer and it's already set. So I'm not going to add anything to my lids. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight into the shadows. Let me just grab my brushes here because... Okay, so to start off, I'm going to... I think I'm going to go in with... Like these, like this hot pink, this purpley one, dark purple, and maybe this one, and I don't know about this one, so we'll see. So, so I think I'm going to start with the darker shades and then go in with the pinks. So I'm going to start with this dark shade right here. I don't know what it's named because, I'm sorry you guys can hear my dogs. I don't know why I left the little clear sheet that came with it with the names. I don't know what happened to it. Um... I think I lost it. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this shade. And I'm using a Morphe M433. So I'm going to be applying this on the outer V. And I want to create kind of like a little triangle here. Like a like if it was like a cat eye kind of. I think I'm going to use a smaller brush because that brush is just too big. I'm going to be using an R34 which looks like this. Yeah, it's easier to create that triangle shape, like that sharp edge right here. Okay, next I am going to be moving on with the next shade. So I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of this um, purple here. It's the next shade to it. It has purple, but it also has kind of like a magenta kind of color to it. It's not pink, but it's not like purple purple. So I'm just going to be adding this on top of here and just blending it towards the other color so it can gradually like disappear into that shade. Okay, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be using this, which is my color switch. This is to clean your brushes so I just so I can remove all the purple shade that I used and voila. It doesn't take all the powder off. I mean, all the staining, but it does take many of your powders off, so that's why I like it. So next, I'm going to be using this shade right here on the top, which is a little bit more towards the pink side. But it does have a little bit of purple, so I'm going to be adding this in the center. Once again, just blend it with the other shade. 
And then I'm going to be moving on to the pink shade, which is this bright one right here. And I'm going to be putting this all over in my inner part. All this space that I have right here, I'm going to be applying this. So now that we have that on, I'm going to be grabbing my, for the first brush that I that I got, which I didn't use, which was the Morphe M433. And I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. And I'm going to be applying that on my crease just to blend all this together. Okay, so now moving on to my bottom lash line, I'm basically just going to be using two shades, which are this purple right here and the hot pink. So I'm going to be using um, this pencil brush, and this is a MAC 219 brush. I'm first going to be grabbing the purple shade, and I'm just going to be adding this to my lower lash line. Just buff it in there. Make sure you connect it to this outer part right here on the top lid and then just blend everything under there. And then grab the pink one and blend it under there as well. Also what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing this glittery shade right here and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and my And my tear duct right here. I'm also going to be applying that on the tip of my nose. And right here. Okay, now what I want to do is... I kind of want to apply a glitter liner. So I bought this. is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Glitter Liner. And it's in the shade volume it's kind of like a pink glitter if you guys can see right here so i've had i have used this one and it is so pretty so i'm going to be um just adding a little line over here on the top you guys have seen me use this method a lot i really like it so let's go ahead and You can bring it all the way over here. I'm not going to. I'm just going to be kind of like going in the middle and then kind of like diffusing it. So you can add as many coats as you want. So something like that. See how it just gives it like something extra like a little pop. So I'm not going to be doing a wing liner. I don't think so. So I'm just going to be applying my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied my eyelashes. So now what I want to do is I'm going to apply an eyeliner and this is the ColourPop eyeliner in the shade No Shame. It, it is a little bit purple but it's not that bright purple. It's like a dark plummy shade. So I am going to be I, applying this on my waterline. And then I'm just going to be applying uh, mascara to my bottom lashes. And I'm using my favorite mascara of all time, which is the Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm going to get super close because my lashes are so tiny. Okay, so moving on. Um, I already have my bronzer and I already have my contour because you guys have already seen what I use. For, bronz for bronzer, I use the more free, the more free. I use the Morphe. I use the Morphe Brontour. This is what it looks like right here in the shade Celebutante. And for my contour, I use the Anastasia Contour Kit as always, and I use that middle shade. So for blush, I'm gonna be using the Morphe palette. This is the 8W palette, and these are like the warm tone ones. 
and they have a cool tone ones but I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna be adding this bright pink right here this pinky shade right here which is called gold so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of that And then for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit, which looks like this. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to be using these shoot. I'm going to be using these two shades right here. And I usually mix them up. So, and actually, I want to try a new brush that I got. It looks kind of like the brush that I use for highlighting. But this is the Morphe M451. It looks like this and the one that I use is this one so I kind of want to use this one to see how it applies so I'm going to be um, adding both of them which is butterscotch and starburst and highlight Ooh, I think this brush picks up more powder rather than the other one so I like this this might be my new favorite highlighting brush Oh my god that is so pretty and something right here okay I was going to use the ColourPop luster dust in the shade sugar trap which are these right here but with this brush ugh, the highlighter looks so pretty but let me just try a little bit Ooh. Ooh. I am highlighted maybe add a little bit here and here <laughs> okay so now what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be spraying my face with the morphe setting spray this one's almost out I have a new one but I just want to finish this one it's almost out yep it's out I got the last of it this is so weird okay so that's going to my empties basket right now so now all I'm left to do is my lipstick let me just wipe this away Drink my smoothie because I haven't been drinking it okay for my liquid lipstick I don't know if I want to do something bright or something light maybe I'll use this one on top of this one this is the ColourPop ultra matte liquid lipstick in the shade Mars so I'm gonna be adding this one let me just dry my setting spray cuz I can feel it I've been really liking this little beauty blender puff it's so good and it helps with like oils here too so I'm gonna be applying this one see how it's bright but I think I'm gonna be adding the other one on top of it so it is a little bit too bright so I'm gonna be adding this shade right here which is called so low and I'm gonna be applying this on the center so this is the final result um, I really like this makeup look for some people it may be a little bit too bright but to go out like in a Valentine's Day dinner or something I think it's super pretty um if you want to do your lipstick a little bit lighter you could i just wanted to do something bright so yes this is the final result i really like this look and i hope you guys enjoyed it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and before you leave please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload videos so you won't miss any videos that i upload and yes and if you are new i hope you enjoyed this video and continue watching my videos so yeah this is it for right now if you guys want to see me trying the morphe foundation i do have a video on that so 
I really do like it. And yes, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.